जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण आय पे माय ओबेसेंसेस टू माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर श्रीमद जगत गुरु सुदर्शन आचार्य जी महाराज आय पे माय ओबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड श्री रामानुज आय पे माय ओबेसेंसेस टू आवर पूर्व आचार्यस आय पे माय ओबेसेंसेस टू आवर 12 अलवार्स आय पे माय ओबेसेंसेस to mother lakshmi and i pay my obeisances to lord shri man narayan i welcome all of you here physically at the shri narayan dham in durban south africa i welcome those that's watching this discourse locally nationally and internationally and i welcome in advance those that's going to be watching this discourse posted on youtube tiktok and the various groups from around the world subsequently a special welcome to lord ram <coughs> on the first day day 1 of the ram nomi celebration held here at the shri narayan dham and around the world simultaneously today in the history of the shri narayan dham is a very significant day because we are going to establish the relationship of lord ram lord hanuman baba and the sun tribe around the world so it is significant because the lord's appearance is historical and therefore today is the new year for those that follow sanatan dharma so happy new year to all sanatan dharmis around the world We also welcome Prince Slatikulu and Chief Stian Kamp to the Sri Narayan Dham today. It's one of the many appearances, and I'm sure there'll be thousands more in my lifetime. We have started a journey. would nothing a few weeks ago i don't think we have concluded two months have we of knowing each other have we concluded two months prince not yet not even in a relationship of two months between the prince and ourselves yet we have already given birth in many dimensions on many fronts but the prince is going to explain today the progress from the time we met to date so my discourses a very simple very basic and common sensical we are living in a scientific world and my discourses should be scientific god should be the ultimate scientist as he is the creator of this scientific universe when we reach our spiritual destiny then you can understand the spirituality of the supreme but whilst you are here you must in material in the material universe then your explanations regarding the supreme lord 
should be simple and you should be able to use your mind to assimilate <coughs> understandings of the Supreme Lord. And for this reason, the Supreme Lord has created gurus, pastors, molanas, so that you can understand him from your own culture, your own tradition, and your own understanding. So my teachings that I expound <coughs> can be taught in the church, it can be taught in the mosque, it can be taught in ashrams, it can be taught in synagogues, but I am presenting this universal teaching through my culture. And this is how I dress in my culture. This is how I sit in my culture. And these are the paraphernalia that belongs to my culture. And I hope, Prince, that on our way forward, we will revive your culture so that one day I can sit in the beautiful traditions of the Sun and the Khoi people. And I can witness the Sun and the Khoi celebrating their culture without any fear in or on this land, their land, South Africa. I'm sure this is going to happen very fast. The prince is going to explain to you <coughs> that since he met the guru, he cannot breathe. He thought when he saw my beard, maybe one assignment every six months. I'm giving him six assignments a day. So the prince is breathless because I want to see the Sun Nation as a whole and intact nation with all their traditions, with all their cultures, living in freedom in this, our country, South Africa. So I stated that my discourses must make sense. So at creation, when the Lord created, there are two creations according to Sanatana Dharma and slowly science is endorsing both these creations. One is the main creation that comes out of nothing. And then two, partial creations and devastations within the main creation. So the main creation is 155 trillion years already. Within this main creation, there are many partial creations. Each partial creation lasts for 4.320 billion years and science has come to 4.4 billion years. Science has reached 4.4 billion years but precisely according to verdict, maths and calculations, each creation lasts for 4.320 billion years. Then right up to Brahma Lok, which is the seventh dimension, the planetary systems are inundated with water. So you find the story in the Bible, you find the story in the Quran, the story of Noah's Ark. 
This is a common story with its origin in the Matsya Puran in Sanatan Dharma. So in this 4.320 billion years, there is 4.320 billion years of existence and 4.320 billion years of non-existence. These are partial creation and dissolution and this entire process takes 311 trillion 40 billion years. 311 trillion 40 billion years. So it is natural that the Vedas, when we speak of such huge numbers, the Vedas should be equipped with mathematics, Geometry, trigonometry, calculus, and all other arithmetic. Yes or no? You will find all these calculations in the Vedas. The Vedas is the handbook for the universe. The Vedas were spoken in Sanskrit. Vedas were spoken in Sanskrit. Sanskrit is a language spoken by the saints and sages of yore. Do not, do not acquaint Sanskrit with Hinduism. Do not acquaint Sanskrit with Hinduism. Hindus do not own Sanskrit. Sanskrit is a stand-alone language. Currently, currently practiced in the main by Hindus currently practiced in the main by Hindus. I want you to use logic. I want you to use common sense. And I want you to do some research. And I think the prince will discuss the research institute and the guru's biography. Okay? So I'm saying I want you to do research. I want you to imagine how this earth looked two million years ago. How you think this earth looked two million years ago. Because Lord Sri Ram entered this material atmosphere two million years ago. How would you think the earth looked? two million years ago. Was it broken into continents? Or was it one solid mass? When creation took place, was planet Earth at creation having seven continents? Or was it one land mass? When God gave birth to the various races, did he give birth at one place or did he give birth in each continent? Was the birth of the different races simultaneous or did he give staggered birth to races and humanity. You need to apply your mind. Then you need to find out if God is absolute, can he be unjust? 
if god is absolute can he be unjust can unjust and absoluteness exist in one supreme personality if a personality is supreme then can he be un just so you need to figure these simple common sensical understandings if an absolute entity gave birth to humanity diversified in a multitude of races would he do it simultaneously to retain his absoluteness and supremacy or will he do it in a staggered fashion and lose his absoluteness how would god give birth to humanity mr stian kam how would god give birth to humanity simultaneously inclusive of all races or would he do it staggered white man first indian man second colored man third and prince and vasan fourth And what's the reading? That the nations were diverse at one point. Instantaneously. So we cannot point a finger at God. No black man, no Indian man, no colored man, no San, no Khoi, no Griqua. Nobody can say, God, why did you prejudice my race? Yes or no? or we wasting our time worshiping the supreme lord aren't we if the supreme lord is not absolute in every dimension then we as human we are wasting our time worshiping that supreme lord so if we were born simultaneously various nations various nations born simultaneously then there is no prejudice in any form in any form there's no high no low so the oldest book oldest scripture known to mankind is the rig veda and the rig veda describes a black sage a black sage giving knowledge to humanity the supreme lord himself supreme lord himself what color you think he is supreme lord is black prince the supreme lord in the vedas vedas simply mean knowledge it does not mean a handbook of the hindus vedas do not mean handbook of the hindus it is a misconception this information was I want to find a word This information was incorrectly distributed to the world by the colonial masters Have you all heard of Max Muller Who's Max Muller
He learned Sanskrit and became the authority on the Vedas. Max Muller, a colonialist, he became, he learned Sanskrit, Prince. And this is how they divided society. When they came to India, they could not break the Indian spirit. The reason they could not break the Indian spirit because there existed the guru-disciple relationship. And that is why I can sit here today and give the discourse. Because the colonialists, they could not destroy the guru-disciple relationship. They destroyed everything else. They looted everything else. But they could not take away the guru-disciple relationship. And because they could not take the guru-disciple relationship, India has bounced back today and tomorrow or the next day it will be the world's number one superpower. Old world as of today is looking at India for <coughs> answers. For answers. The dollar is almost down the drain. The rupee the rupee is on its way to become the international currency. Date today, 22nd March 2023, for transcription. Okay, so the colonials, they tried in India, they broke India, they broke, but they couldn't break her backbone. And the backbone is the guru, disciple, relationship. Similarly, the Sun Nation. Was almost destroyed. But you are sitting here today Prince. Would your chief. Next year this time. The Sun Nation will be alive and kicking. It's already taken its. Rebirth. It's going to be alive and kicking. Most probably I'll be doing this first satsang on your land in northern Natal. Is it northern Natal? In northern Natal. Maybe under a tree. But we will be doing a service there. And that is a guarantee. How you learn all these guarantees, Prince? Because we look around us. We look around us. History teaches us that we can revive and survive. History teaches us that we can revive and survive. Mama, when you finish, you can put 200 rand here in my donation box. Thank you, thank you. We're looking for money, Prince. Okay. So this, like all my other Ramayan weeks, every Ramayan week has been unique. This is my tenth Ramayan week that I'm discussing and I never discuss the same in any Ramayan week. And we are asking the bl blessings of Lord Ram. So I just want to conclude because Prince is going to give a quick talk, I think 10-15 minutes. I want to say that when there was creation, all nations were created simultaneously. And when God gave knowledge, he gave knowledge to all nations simultaneously and equally or else he won't be supreme or absolute. And the Prince and I have the opportunity through our relationship to revive this old information and the Prince will bring it academically to the world via a PhD. So the University of KZN Prince 
has asked prince and ashram to get involved in presenting this information that was at creation this information that was at creation that has been disseminated by the supreme lord equally to everyone and we are going to collate this information dynamically because we are going to have a whole lot of critics out there especially indians i see them on these indian groups they talk great when i say great they become even greater than the supreme lord they become even greater i'm sitting on one political group they have already solved the problems of south africa politically on their whatsapp that's how great indians are so as we move in forward their fingers on their whatsapp or on our posts would no credentials no credentials but they'll open very popular whatsapp groups you think you are invited in a group in a substantive group but this man doesn't know the alphabets <coughs> you understand so it's not going to be easy sailing we have to be prepared and for this reason i have chief stian kamp as my bodyguard as my bodyguard emita you please tend to prince chief stian kamp i want the world to see him before they tackle me they must know that the guru is secured chief as is the guru secured yes oh. okay <laughs> okay okay hey, emita the world saw my my chief okay so i'm secured those that want to tackle us we waiting for you but this synergy this synthesis this realignment of our religion of sanatan dharma the religion of the sun the re- religion of the koi and basically the religion of the blacks in south africa because it's the same information prince whether you koza whether you sutu whether you zulu whether you san whether you hindu whoever you are god gave the same information to all of us it is these colonial masters that came they took this information and they turned one against the other and we want to reinstate that we want to reinstate that so the sun nation belong to the moon dynasty lord ram appeared in the moon in the lunar dynasty today is the black moon in the sun and today is the what moon is outside today okay coincidentally it is also ramadan today all right so 
I discussed this and as I said we want to discuss a few common sensical things. Is the moon spherical? Is it a ball? Is the moon a ball? Yes, Jessica, the moon is a ball. Jessica, and no one on earth has ever seen a full moon. I want you to be logical. Alright? I want you to be logical. When you see the moon, it is the reflection of the sun. When you see the moon, it is the reflection of the sun. If the sun is reflecting or if a light reflects on a ball, what area of the ball will you be able to see? You can never see the whole ball. So what we call full moon is in reality half moon. Because your eyes can never see behind. The, s the sun can never reflect behind the moon. It, if at the right angle, center to center, it will reflect half. So you want to change, Prince? You want to change? Is the Guru right? Is the Guru wrong? Because the moon is the reflection of the sun. And when you see a full reflection of the moon, actually you are seeing half. Prince? Am I right? Twins. Twins. Which twin is bigger? The twin that comes out of the womb first or the twin that comes out of the womb second? Prince? First one. <laughs> I want you to imagine a test tube. Where would you plant the first sperm in the test tube? In the front or in the back? <laughs> then you'll plant your second sperm in front of the first sperm. But which child will come out of the womb first? So which child is older? So we had twins working for us. They were in my satsang and they were working for us and they were, I think, 35 years old. And I explained to the big brother, who was always bossy, <laughs> that he's the lighty. <laughs> I haven't seen them again in my satsang. <laughs> so this knowledge that we got that the firstborn is elder came from whom? This knowledge on full moon, when actually it's half moon, came from whom? From our colonizers. <coughs> if they did not understand who is the bigger brother in twins, <coughs> and if they are such great scientists, and they say we're witnessing full moon, how much of false information has the West brought into our lives? Prince? How much of false information? <coughs> you understand? So it is now the time to stand up and correct the past. But would love. But would love. We need to now start looking at how we have been fooled by our colonial masters. They fooled us 
and they took away our wealth. Our wealth is no longer with us and they call us poverty stricken people. Africa is a pov poverty stricken nation. They are still stealing our wealth by deploying fake politicians. All these politicians you see in our government, everyone is being manipulated by these same colonial masters. Initially they came with a gun and they stole. They came with a Bible and they stole. Now they are stealing diplomatically. All this nonsense that happened on Monday, where was it bankrolled from? It was bankrolled from the United Kingdom. Okay. So Prince, I want to give you a quick opportunity on this great day. It's worthless me narrating Lord Ram's history if you do not know which twin is older. <laughs> you understand? So let's find out first which twin is older <coughs> and let us understand the full moon principle. So the sun people and our people worship the moon. Yes? Premila, how many moon prayers you did in your life? <laughs> Be honest, Premila. You're not alone. You got the whole sun nation behind you. Premila, how many moon prayers you did? Many, you can see. So our we worship the same deity, Lord Ram, incarnated in the same system, Prince, and this ties at this point in time. The Sanatan Dharma is what? The Sun Nation, because the same Lord had to give birth simultaneously to the Sanatan Dharma and the Sun Nation equally. So you see this dot on my forehead. The two whites represent the feet of the Supreme Lord. The feet of the Supreme Lord. It is security. It secures my knowledge faculties. My knowledge faculties. This red line on the dot represents prosperity. Have you got a, de a deity of prosperity? And what is that deity called? Kam. That deity is called Lachmi on my side. Same deity, different names through different languages. Can you see this triangle? The triangle represents the Guru. The triangle represents the Guru. So you have the feet of the Lord, you have Mother Lachmi, and you have the triangle representing the Guru because the Guru is the giver of knowledge. You understand? Okay, Prince, you can say a few words. Thank you very much, Guru, for, for affording us this wonderful opportunity uh, to be brave, to talk about us without fear, because there is a narrative that was created by the West that the Bushman nation is an is un, is uncivilized nation. You know, we are so happy because after the construction of the bridge in Sri Lanka, our, our ancestor, which is Latikulu or Hano woman, came with a crowd. 
you know, there, there is a, a puzzle when we grew up, when we were taught in our school that the monkey was wearing a crown. So we are just talking about civilization. So that is why we, we are brave, Guru, to say today, you have restored us. Um, our religion was destroyed. In fact, our science, I like to, to talk about science, Guru, because satellitism is a science. And also the Bushmen are mathematicians and astrologers. We believe in, in Pentagon, Pentagon, or in Greek, Pentagon. You know, people does not talk about us when the Romans destroyed the Greek philosophy and destroyed their library. Our philosophy and ideology was also destroyed by the Romans. You know, in, in the first meeting of the, of the 385 in the, in the Nasian conference, where the, 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 the Christianity was established by, 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 by Alexander, the, the Roman Empire. So our ancestors were called the archivists to present our, our science in, the, in, in that conference. So we were called as pagans. So the land was taken by the, Christian, by the Christians in the name of Jesus. That the pagans cannot own the land. So that is why the theft, the theft was conducted in the name of Jesus. So in that process, we have lost our science. Because satellitism is similar to Hinduism. Hinduism, like Guru has explained, is a science. Satellitism, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pentagon, um, 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 triangle that explain our ideology, our, our ideology, uh, the the precepts, the idea bef be behind an be be behind an idea, philosophy, religion, economy, and and, and, and politics. It's five. We believed before the Yan Fan Republic arrived here in 1652 with Indian uh, East India Company. So we were here. So they destroyed our religion, they destroyed our culture, they destroyed our language, and they took our land. So today, I am a prince without the land. I am landless. Landless. The foreigners who arrive here and they found us, they own the land. And they are recognized. We're not recognized. Their language is recognized. Our language is not recognized. So we don't have culture. We don't have tradition. Everything that was available to us was destroyed by the thieves. We have to call them thieves who parade themselves to represent God. But you see, all the massacres in South Africa were created by the Christian state. Not, not, not pagans, the Christian state. The upper, upper state government was, was, was the Christian state. The massacre of, of 1956, people were, met, were massacred in Duncan Village by the Christian state. The massacre of 1960, the Sheffield Massacre, was committed by the Christian state. The massacre of 1976 was committed by the Christian state. I just wanted, that is why, Guru, I resigned. Because when I was looking at it, the gods, that, the gods that who are supposed to love us, to guide us, to protect us, it is a killer. Because even the, those people, the, the white ministers, you know, we come from the tradition where in, in, in the seminary, we were, we were not trained, the ministers, there was a, a seminar here, they call it Fetzem. That is why the black ministers were trained. The white ministers were trained in Rhodes University. <coughs> I was just wondering, the same God, they worship the same God, but they cannot sit in one church. You see, ra racial discrimination, apartheid, apartheid, racialism, is coming from the Christian state. All the massacres were 
were committed in the name of Jesus. So that is why I'm saying even today, the, 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 the theft that has been committed in the churches, Bushiri, flew out of the country, millions, from the poor people. The poor people are abused in the name of Jesus. <coughs> so that is why we say, Guru, we, we have to demonstrate to the world that what we preach, we are doing it. What we say, we, we, we are walking it. It's not a theory. It's practice. You know, Guru, I want to just to present a, 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 a practical a practical work that the, that guru did to us when we we were struggling we were sent from pillar to post we were played guru we were robbed you just came within two months i'm just I, 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 i'm not trying to praise guru but the truth need to be told we met guru on the 28th of january you know, I was, I was, I, I met Guru when I was uh, uh, discharged in N1 City in Cape Town. I was admitted on the 7th of January. It was a full moon Guru. You know, <laughs> when I was admitted there, you know, I, I was unable to, to, to drive a car during the full moon. Because my mother was saying that you need a, gu a, gui a, a guide. You can't go out during the time of the full moon or of the, or the black moon. Because, you know, I had uh, a spiritual disability. So he, she said, you need a person who will coordinate your action. You need a person where you are going to surrender uh, all of yours. You know, I struggle, you know, as uh, I'm coming from a Christian tradition. that I said, I, I cannot surrender to a, 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 a mortal. You know, we, we believe that we have to surrender ourselves to Jesus. That we don't know. So he was saying that you have to surrender all your being to the Guru. So when I, when I was discharged on the 13th, I phoned, I was in Cape Town. I phoned Bishop Bernard because my mother told me that I need to rest. Now you are 44 years. For 44 years, I never find peace and rest. So this is a time now I have to go and rest because we are a grown man now. But I have to leave you in the hands of the Guru. I phoned Bishop Bernard uh, when I was in Cape Town. And I said, uh, Bishop, I, I, I saw when I was meditating here in N1 City that maybe as a Christian Indian, because I know uh, Bishop Bernard through our activities as Christian. As a Christian Indian, maybe you know a guru. Don't you know any guru? <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to see a guru. Don't you know any guru? Yeah. So, no, I know the guru. Then, uh, please arrange a meeting because I'll fly down because I, I was going to attend a provincial meeting of the Kohen And said, look, Bishop, just arrange this guru. So I will meet him in the meeting. So in that meeting, you know, I was late because the flight delayed. When I arrived there, this Samuel Guru was sitting there. So I entered, you know, with that. <laughs> you know, everybody was missing when I was in hospital. Then I sat down, Guru was, was sitting there. Then people were talking. And then, you know, I, I, was, I, I was not there when the introduction was made. You know, I was late. So when I started to talk, you know, when I talk, I talk with passion. And then the, the Guru said, that, yeah, sit down. Go. Hold, hold, hold my arm. I didn't know him, but I said, maybe he's the person that I was told is waiting for me. But I look at him and he, he said second time, I, I will leave. So I have to meet you. And then I called Prince Llewellyn. I said, Prince Llewellyn, can you give me an update? Who, who is this, this old man? <laughs> And he, Guru, when he speaks, he speaks with authority. He is having that commanding uh, uh, authority. He was commanding me. And you know, I was shocked as a prince because in that meeting, it's, it's only me and the chief who speak with authority. Then I said, hey, hey prince, hey, who is he? He said, oh, he's a guru. Ah, he said, oh, 
okay, it's a guru. <laughs> so we met with the guru uh, on the 28th. You know, I said, guru, um, I've got, uh, we've got a problem as a nation that um, we wanted to claim the land, but uh, the most important thing that is, uh, is itching us is the reburial of the queen and the, ki and the king of Tatukulu. And then Guru, he said, what are you waiting for? But, but we have to talk about what, I said, what are you waiting for? You can start even tomorrow. I said, you mean, must I go and exhume them now? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and then we found the chief in Tatukulu and said, uh, gentlemen, we will come down, then we have to start the process of exhuming the remainings of the king and the queen. We started the process on the 29th. I met the guru on the 28th. On that, in fact, in that meeting, I, I made a call to all the chiefs. And I said, tomorrow, we are starting to exhume the remainings of the queen and the king in Tlatikulu Bush Forest. Because the guru has spoken. I, was, I didn't have even a single cent in my pocket. <laughs> and I had a faith. And, but I didn't want to question Guru because he's the person that I prayed for when I cried in that mood that Guru was talking about. Because I had a faith, and I had a faith in my mother. Because all the money that we, we have invested with my wife, because my wife, uh, we spoke, Guru, when Guru wa, wa, was talking, that is uh, arranging a, a wedding. So I used the, the money that we were supposed to, to use it for our, our, our wedding. On, 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 on the activities of, of the kingdom. So I was saying to myself, hey, how this exhuming is going to happen? How this reparation is going to happen? Because we don't have money. And you know, I was speaking to myself. And then I said, by the way, everything that my mother said, all they came to pass. So I have to put my, my trust now because we've got a new driver, the Uber. The Uber driver. Because Guru said, Prince, I am the Uber driver. Trust me. Put all your faith to me as I am driving this vehicle. I understand, my son, you are tired. You have been uh, trying to do things, but all the things that you have tried, um, 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 you are still struggling. And people that you have been working with, uh, they are there, but they are not helpful to you. So we started the process of exhuming the, the, the remainings and then we plan the funeral, the, the, the reburial in, 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 in May, the same day, without consulting Guru. After we finish the exhuming on the, on the 30th, I, I came on the, on the 30th of January. On the, on, the, on the second, I came here to meet Guru. And then Guru, we have started the process of exhuming and then we plan everything. Guru said, the first thing, let's establish a foundation for your parents. So we started the process, and then he said, this week, let's sign an, a memorandum of agreement. We prepare the document. And then we, we came in that service where we signed an, an, a, a memorandum of agreement. After we signed that memorandum of agreement, it was the full moon day. You know, we didn't, we didn't plan everything, just move. We, we didn't look at the calendar with the guru. So I, I was just following the guru. You know, when I was talking to the elders, they said to the elders, we, we, we support you because you, you are working according to our tradition. Everything that the guru has initiated is in line with our tradition. Even today, as we are here, we know what is happening outside. So what I'm trying to say is that... Uh, since we signed an MOU <coughs> with Guru, then the, 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 the foundation was registered. The, the, the website of the foundation was established. Uh, last week, uh, on Friday, we opened officially the offices of the foundation <coughs> with the Guru and also with, with, with the members. And, and then we signed, we were in the process of signing a memorandum of agreement with the Christian Council 
of KwaZulu Natal. You know, in, in that meeting when Guru was there, Guru was opening. There was a, there was a, a, a reverend from the council that wa was there to represent uh, uh, the, the Christian council. After Guru spoke, uh, according to the reverend, then the reverend was giving us, he uh, uh, was reporting to, to the members who were there of the foundation on how we are going to partner with KZNCC to promote the legacy of the foundation and also to appoint other religious organizations to look on the truth and reconciliation since my parents were beheaded. So then they are going to facilitate that, that the process of, of truth and reconciliation so that the, process, the, the, the truth can come out. So after this reverend, after, uh, after this reverend has presented, he said, before I conclude, but there is something that I, I wanted just to, to say it before uh, I leave. You know, when Guru, and when he was saying this, he, he was crying, the, 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 the tears were flowing on his cheek. And then when the Guru started to, to speak, the, 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 this environment just changed. There was a suddenly a, 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 a force that came to me and, you know, if, he, he, and he said, if I was in the church, I was going to, to say that I was filled with the, with the, with, with the Holy Spirit. So he said, he said to me, uh, after the guru have left, please give me the number of the guru. So I'm trying to say, I'm just explaining the miracle of meeting our upper driver, our protector, <laughs> our guider, uh, our everything. Uh, so this reverend said to me, we would like to visit Guru with my family. You know, we, we sat with him from, was, we finished the, that, that function around 4 o'clock uh, till 9 o'clock. He was crying tears and then uh, he was crying. When I, 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 I finished talking with the reverend, when I arrived at home, I... I, I encounter another thing from my wife and he was asking me tell me wh what is guru i said hey what is this now no 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 no. just say to tell me is it guru a prophet and i said why are you asking all this question because i'm coming from my reverend you know um why are you asking all these questions I, said, I wanted to to go and see guru because after i i, I spoke with him uh, I, I had a dream when he was saving me from from a lot of enemies. So I wanted just to surrender to Guru. I said, hey, hey, you cannot surrender to somebody. You, don't know. you cannot surrender yourself to somebody that you don't know. I said, do you, do you, are you really a disciple of Guru? He was saying to my wife. I think I, I have to trace the number of Guru because I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to question you because you are jealous because I wanted to go and meet Guru. <laughs> so I just wanted just anybody that can teach me about Guru is it guru or a prophet or what? Just, you, you were the minister. Is, just, is it God or what? Is it, I said, hey, do you, what, what do you mean? I'm, as, I'm asking you, just compare him, the prophet, and God. Where do you put guru here? And said, hey, can, we, can we just talk about this? No, 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 no. I wanted to know. You. You. Because you have been struggling here. I never saw you happy, happy like this. So, just tell me, where do you put Guru in your life? I said, look, it's something that I have to know more about Guru because, you know, I just met Guru. He said, no, 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 no. You are the only person, you don't need to be explained because as a person that is, that is close to your life, I've seen everything that you have been doing since you have met Guru. Everything is almost, all the things that you have struggled in your life with two months, all is almost solved. So I want you to know, where do you put him in your life? I said, look, uh, I have to meet Guru tomorrow, and maybe I'll, I'll surrender according to you. No, we have to surrender. So what I'm trying to say is that we are happy to be led by Guru. So we submit to his leadership as a nation because we have seen the miracle. Last week, after we have signed, uh, we have opened the office, and I also received a phone call from my so former supervisor, who was supervising me in my master's. 
you know, I, 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 I made, a, I, I posted Guru in my status. And he said, hey, is it, is it a Shawelin monk? Who is this Shawelin monk? <laughs> I said, no, he's my Guru. He said, oh, he's your Guru. Just tell me more about him. He said, prophet, I don't have time. I said, no, 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 please summarize in five minutes. Just describe him. Who is he? Because after I look at your status, I didn't sleep. Just summarize, tell me, who is he? Then I said, no, a prof is, a, is my spiritual guide, guide that I met, uh, my master. And he said, look, I've been, I've been uh, advising you to do your PhD. Uh, but you, you told me stories. Why can't you write, just do a research with, the, with, your, with your master now? And then I think we need to meet in the office and discuss the project. So in a nutshell, yesterday we had a meeting with Professor Moyo. Professor Moyo is a director of practical theology in the University of KwaZulu-Natal. So we met with the professor and then we were discussing, you know, it was, I was so surprised. When I was discussing Guru, I was saying, okay, Guru belonged to, to Lord Rama. So just, the, 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 you just catch the, 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 the summary of the PhD that we have to do this and this and this. And this. I just listened to Prof. I said, okay, Prof. And then we will uh, launch a, a research wing that is going to, to research about the pre-Indian uh, settlers in South Africa. So we're taking that research and the university is going to support it. We can go and look at the bridge, at the bridge in India, that bridge that was constructed by Lord Rama and your ancestors. We can sponsor that research. So what I'm trying to say and even said, the first book that we have to publish, we have to publish a book about your guru. You know, yesterday, before I met Professor, I had a dream. Uh, you know, it was like I was with, with, with Guru here. And then I said, Guru, I wanted to write a biograph about you. And he said, Prince, you know, there, you, you will struggle to get the papers to write the, the biograph of the Guru. You can write and write it, but there were no papers <laughs> to write the biograph of Guru. And, you know, you will, there, there will be no ink. You have to make sure you go to all... The, the 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 shops that sells the the pen, you you collect the ink because you will write and write and write and that. So Guru was teasing me. So when the professor proposed this project of you know, and he said we need to publish an academic biography of Guru so that the world can know Guru. And also, I want to go to interview Guru personally so that we can see as the university, just because of this good work, because after I, I, I saw him on, on, your, on your peak, I, I, I look at your status in, in, in Facebook, and also I followed him, all his discourse, but I believe that he deserved to get an honorary doctorate. And he said to me, this is a project that we have to work together. So your guru, by next year, we have to make sure that he gets an honorary doctorate. So I believe, Guru, you deserve it. I thank you. Thank you, Prince. This is the power of the Supreme Lord. From whichever religion you look at the Lord, if you have faith, if you have faith, what has happened to Prince Ashmeka can happen to you. Prince wants a nation revived. And look at Ashmeka's wantings. How small it is to reviving an entire nation. Thank you, Prince. I think we are a bit late now. We, uh, we want to have Sherwin's birthday as well. Uh, somebody call Mataji, let's do Arthi.